went for thinking and my dad asked a pastor which bible sir and this pastor was unable to answer the question so let's check it out is the bible really the word of god truly the word of god now in any dispute any confrontation any case legal criminal theological the first thing they do is to identify the witnesses or the exhibits so in this case since we are talking about the bible i have brought with me here some bibles we would like to know which bible are we talking about generally people say there's only one bible generally people think there's only one bible but here i show you this little book here this is the holy bible it is called the reams or the Douay version of the roman catholics brother stanley do you accept this as the word of god it says the holy bible do you accept it that's number one number two i have here with me the schofield reference bible a reverend schofield backed by eight dds doctors of divinities they produced this bible this is based on the king james version are we talking about this bible roman catholic bible or this protestant bible <laughs> this one here i went before coming over i bought a swedish bible this is also based on the king james version is this bible we are talking about then i have here siamese twins as you see identical identical bibles look at them you can't mistake their identity they are identical both say revised standard version revised standard version out of these two one is 1952 and one is 1971 which one would you accept as the word of god so we have to identify if you can help me he said look i accept the rsv or i accept only the swedish bible i only accept the king james version or i accept the roman catholic bible then we can proceed otherwise we don't know which bible are we talking about because these are all different bibles by god they are not the same even these twins are not the same they may look like Siamese twins but they are not so if I have the privilege of knowing it will make it easy, my task easier to proceed with the Bible which the pastor accepts as the word of God out of all these which one sir yes which one sir out of these i'll answer you when i get the time for myself because i have a very good answer thank you okay sir <laughs> i have discovered that uh, the Quran has different kind of translations following exactly the same principle as when the Bible has been translated. I can prove that reading from this one that was translated by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and reading from this one that we bought in Lahore, Pakistan translated by Mulana Muhammad Ali. You know, I must take off my hat to Pastor Stanley. I must take off my hat. You know, beautiful. He has beautifully evaded answering the questions. Beautiful. And he has had us all tantalized with this oratory. And I tell you, give him another clap for that. Give him a clap. For that.
It is, it is really difficult. You see, when an orator is pouring out his thoughts, is full of knowledge, this thing, that thing, and he's catching us, he's holding us there. So we fail to realize that the man is not answering the problems. The first question, if you remember, now I want you to remind you. And if you have a chance, buy this videotape. Buy the tape, and at, at home when you will be able to listen to both the speakers again and again, you'll be able to see, you know, what the game is being played. You'll be able to catch the joke then, better than while you're listening now. You're too much involved in this discussion at the moment. The very first question I asked was to identify the witness, if you remember. In any case, any court case, if you fail to do that, the judge would stop you in your stride. He says, stop it, identify your witnesses. And that's the first question I asked. Here are the witnesses, the exhibits, the Roman Catholic Bible. Do you accept this as the word of God? These twins I showed you, do you accept them as the word of God? This Schofield's Bible, do you accept them? Do you accept this as the word of God? But he says, no, I will answer in my time. His time, he had full time, 60 and more minutes, that you know. And the question is still not answered. I will, I will answer. Now, let me tell you the reason why he couldn't answer. He knew, he knows. Any learned man knows that this is not simply a question of translations. You see, when he spoke about the Qur'an, there are different translations of the Qur'an by different people. Different people have a different choice of words. For the same thing, you use different terminology to express the same thing. This is every translator has a right. But a version is quite a different thing from a translation. I explained to you, simple, you see, this Roman Catholic Bible has got 73 books inside. True or false, Professor? True. 73. The book that you are using, the authorized King James Version is the basis of that book that you have there, has got 66 books. Difference of seven. This book, the Roman Catholic Bible, preceded yours the Protestant Bible. It had seven extra books. You threw it out, the Protestant world threw it out. The book of Maccabees, the book of Judith, the, the book of Tobias. Seven books you threw out from what your canon as the word of God. In other words, you do not accept the Roman Catholic Bible per se as the word of God. Because there are seven more books in here than what you have in your Bible. This is what you ought to have explained to the people. Why don't you accept this book as God's word? I will tell you. <laughs> hmm. I understand Ahmed that point of view. He wanted um, the pastor to identify the one. You know, there are different translations. And I think the Roman Catholic is one that most Christians do. They don't use generally. It's only the Catholic people that use it. It's not all Christians that make use of the of that translation of that particular, you know, translated Bible. So he was asking if it's also the Word of God, and the pastor should have just given an answer. Me, I, in my own opinion, they are the Word of God. No matter how you know the, the different version, uh, version it has. As long as it's the word of God and it talks about Jesus, it talks about God, it talks about a lot of things. As long as the information that is in these versions of the Bible, you can get it in the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, it's most of it, then it's the word of God. It's the word of God. And I love that that Pastor Stanley used the question to give his own answer and try to throw question indirectly and telling them that proud to ask different translation and I love that Medita did not deny the facts 
he said yes there's a between translation and verse version and they just want the pastor to verify it so at the end of the video i mean she was like why is that you are not accepting roman catholic version book as the word of god because if this other verse version are considered as the word of god then roman catholic book should too must be with the word of god and the pastor could not say it at the end of the day said i'll give you an answer to it and up to that moment there is no answer to the question but that was a beautiful conversation i love their interaction i love you know the way they they, they interacted and and i made it that point of view even though this pastor started to do not really give us the answer we wanted but i just love the, his expression you know and that was beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye